ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم tonight inshallah we will talk about adab ifsha salam adab ifsha salam wa ifsha salam yani nashru and ifsha salam is greeting huh is saying salam is greeting other people and there are adabs and there are rulings and there are ahkam that islam came and the quran spoke about and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has explained so when we talk about ifsha salam we're talking about announcing the salam and when we say salam the word is salam meaning to feel, to make someone feel comfortable with you yani for example if you if you are walking in the street at night and there's another person walking uh, in front of you and you're walking a little faster than him huh? or even if he's coming toward you and at night if you were to say assalamu alaykum yani if he's muslim if you would say assalamu alaykum or even in english if you would tell him hi he will feel less threatened but if he sees you coming toward him and you're silent uh, and you're quiet and you're not saying salamu alaykum or that, he's going to get scared, right? He might start yani, drifting away a little bit. He might slow down and start getting ready just in case you might attack him. You might plan to rob him and stuff like that. So when we say salam, we're talking about sending peace and keep making someone more comfortable and giving him peace and tranquility. Uh, and peace of mind as they sit. So when we talk about ifsha salam is spreading the salam and this is something that a lot of Muslims have neglected either for their ignorance and sometimes for them being ashamed. Yani some Muslims are ashamed today to say salam. So you, you, you're going, let's say in, uh, in, in a building, a governmental building or a company or something and you see someone you, you recognize from the masjid or a Muslim and you know he's Muslim or from his tag or whatever and you say Salaamu Alaikum he doesn't want to be identified in the company like that so he will answer hi right and I'm sure this happened to most of us so it's very important that we understand the hakam and the rulings from the Quran and the Sunnah when it comes to these things and see the detailing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet Asam that they have set forth for us to understand. And salam, the word salam itself can have too many meanings beside the greeting. And one of the meaning or one of the things that it's used is one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, salam. And you see it in the Quran, Malikul Quddus, salam. So salam is one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salam also means means peace. Salam also the greeting of the people in the Jannah. وَتَحِيَّتُهُمْ فِيهَا فِيهَا salam And their greeting in it, يعني paradise, is salam. So salam alaykum is the greeting of the people in paradise. Also Jannah itself, it's called Dar al-Salam. Huh? Jannah itself, it's called Dar al-Salam. Dar is like the haven of salam the haven of peace. The house of peace, the home of peace. That is one of the names of Al-Jannah that the word salam is mentioned. And also Salama is Al-Afiyah, health, when someone is healthy and strong and functioning well and sick free or ill free, that's also called uh, from Salama and from being healthy. And also Salam is peace against like the opposite of war as we have said. Qul Hafiz ibn Hajar rahimahullah إفشاء السلام نشره سرا وجهرا بالصيغة المشروعة. When we talk about spreading the greeting or greeting that we're talking about, he said is to spread the greeting whether in secret or publicly. يعني loud whether loud or in secret 
in the uh, in a in a format that the Sharia has produced, in a format that the Sharia has produced and introduced, the Sharia has ordered. Okay, when we say Sharia, yani the Deen, the religion of Allah, guided us how to greet each other, because you will find a lot of people using different greetings. That is, besides, sometimes it's not from the Islam, and sometimes it's opposite of Islam, and it's haram. And they don't even realize that, so it's very important that we, we follow and we greet each other the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to greet each other. وَابْتِدَاءُ salami sunnah. To greet someone is sunnah. Yeah, to come to someone, if you don't greet him, it's, it's not, you won't help, be held yeah, accountable if you come towards someone and you don't say, Assalamu alaykum. However, the Muslim is always concerned about saying salam alaikum. And if you remember when we talked about the signs of the Day of Judgment and the, the lecture that the Day of Judgment will not happen until certain things take place, we said one of those things is salam al khassa. And we said salam al khassa, يعني you only say salam to those whom you know. I don't know if you remember that. So it's very important that we understand that you don't have to say it but for a person who's concerned about the reward and a person who's concerned about spreading the peace and all these things and a Muslim who's concerned about following his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then then he will start the greeting as we will see the blessing and all that so if saying salamu alaykum yani starting the greeting is, is recommended answering it is a must, is wajib if someone says salamu alaykum to you you become mandated and obligated to answer back to answer back to him as كما قال ابن عبد البر يعني this is a jama' this is the consensus of علماء of this ummah يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى وإذا حييتم بتحية فحيوا بأحسن منها وردوها if you are being greeted somehow then answer back with something similar something better or at least similar so when the Quran when it come in, in a command, يعني, the verb comes in a form of a command and order, يعني, do. So Allah says, if you are being greeted somehow, then you greet with something better. You greet with something better. That's a command from Allah. That will mean the must and the foundation and the obligation that we should respond when we are being greeted. قول إمام البخاري إن هز المفرد أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إذا سلمت فأسمع فإنها تحية من عند الله. One of the adab of salam when some when you greet someone is make him hear. يعني don't mumble. Alright, make him hear. That is the point. Is that he hears you saying السلام عليكم. So if you're gonna just move your lips without some people will want. Right? All you see from him is his raising his hand. And this is not from Islam. Or he will go like, he will walk in and go. Right? Some people do that. Sorry. When you, when you greet someone, when you give someone a salam, you have to make him hear. But at the same time, يعني, some describe, it's, it's a way that it will make the person who's, who's, not, who's awake hear you. And it will not disturb the person who's asleep. So some people, يعني, they walk into the masjid, Salaam Alaikum. Right? That is not from that, and this is not the way. Or they will walk into circle of knowledge, Salaam Alaikum. They disturb the whole class. Or they'll walk into the home and they will wake the, the sick and the older and the babies. Alright? So there is adab. So you say Salaam Alaikum in a way that the person next to you can hear you. And that's it. You have done it, but in a way that not even the one next to you can hear you. Make it not loud and not very low voice in balance. So the Prophet ﷺ said, if you greet someone, then make him hear it because it's a greeting from Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala. قال الإمام النووي أقله أن يرفع صوته بحيث يسمعه المسلم عليه. The least is he, he can raise his voice, يعني at least the person that he's greeting can hear him. You don't have to make everyone hear at least the person that you're intending to give salam to. يقول السلام عليكم بحيث إن الذي سلم عليه يسمع كلامك فيرد عليك التحية فإن لم يسمع لم يكن آتيا بالسنة فإن لم يسمع لم يكن آتيا بالسنة يعني at least the person you greet and can hear you and if you do not make, you, make him hear you then you have not fulfilled the sunnah. 
So at least you have to raise your voice to a level where he can... He